so it's for today's video. I just finished building four floating shelves for my wife. She had wanted in the living room. Of course. Um, these are pretty simple. Um, I got the idea. I watched a couple different videos on YouTube of different YouTubers um, building floating shelves. So I'll link that video, the video that I I saw that I, I actually liked the way he built them. I'll link that to this video as well. Um, and if you have any questions, you can let me know. But uh, these are the shelves. They're already hung. Uh, let me go ahead. And she put um, she put all her stuff on. Those are family pictures, things like that. On these two over here, and I actually um, I mirrored that uh, on the other opposite end of the wall. Um, of course, we moved a mirror in the center for now, just to have something there. Um, go ahead, we'll walk over. I'm not the interior designer. I'm just the one that takes the hammer and puts the nails in the wall. So anyhow, um, we had a couple of um, photos that we had on the wall before. We hung them back up. Um, but these are the other two shelves. She had more she put on them. So, and all I really did on the shelving What you do is you just want to find a stud somewhere in the wall. This is a shorter shelf. It's roughly 30 inches. This is 32 inches. Uh, both of the shelves are like that. Um, I put a screw in the hole uh, through a dowel on the bottom of each one to hold them together. And you'll see that in the video later on. Um, but then you just find a stud in the wall to put screws in for the back support piece, uh, you screw that to the wall, you slide the shelf onto it, secure it in place, it's good to go. Um, I used uh, two by 10 pine. I planed it down, sanded it, stained it a, um, a light cherry color and then used a clear um, lacquer finish over the top. Um, I used 5 8 inch dowels to put in to secure it together to, to slide it onto. Um, the video I watched, the guy used the same he used, um, I believe they were 1 by 8 or 2 by 8. They were 2 by 8, I believe they were. Um, and he only used half inch dowels. I went ahead with 5 8 inch because I thought I just want a little bit more um, thickness on my dowel. Uh, but I did all of them the same. Um, like I said, this is a 2x10, um, 32 inches, and 30 inches. Two of each. So, and that's pretty much all I needed to do. Um, once you've got it secured to the wall, like I said, just slide the shelf on, secure the shelf with the screws on the bottom side, and you're good to go. And that's your floating shelf. So, anyhow. If any questions, let me know.